hello guys welcome back to hs paintings i hope you're doing well i created a beautiful painting using silicon in my last video and i had some paints left over so i decided to create this beautiful painting using open cup pour so let's see how i did it so for my base i'm using white flow acrylics mixed with floral and water and i'm just pouring it in a puddle on the canvas get rid of those bubbles because they're way too much I might need to pour some more on the side but we'll see okay so I just cut this glass <laughs> so I'm gonna use this put this in the middle okay and I'm gonna start pouring paint let's start with the black so these paints these are mixed with a flow troll and a little bit of pouring medium and then I put some silicone in them uh, which is this one cell magic and let's see how it's going to work so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna start pouring these paints So I just picked it up a little bit and then put it down because I want the paint to escape from the side. Okay, and just keep going. I did this kind of painting before without silicone and that turned out really nice. But let's see how this one will. You see on the side, it is coming out. Okay, let's put a little bit more black. And red. Okay, just give it a little bit of time to see what's going to happen. It's fun to watch all those cells develop. I will post a TikTok video of this one too afterwards, but you will see when you're watching a TikTok, it's so fast. Everything just happens within a minute. But watching this is actually so much fun. Wow, look at those orange and yellow ones. So cool. And it has like a black outline and then it's orange and then it's yellow. Okay, pick it up a little bit and move it to the side. Okay, so I'm going to keep pouring all these paints because I just want to get rid of them. I don't want to keep them. It's hard to keep, like, if you just put uh, plastic wrap on it, you know, the cling wrap on it, uh, the paints will stay for you to, you know, work, come back and work with them later. But I feel like it's, it's too much hassle and it also takes a lot of space. So... I like it when they're in those squeeze bottles, but I don't, you know what, I want this black on the side. The black and white are creating this gray. Usually I don't like to see gray, but this one, 
I kind of like. With pouring, it's so easy to, you know, um, make your paints muddy and that just ruins your painting if it gets muddy. So you have to be very careful. It will only look pretty if it's not muddy. <laughs> I keep adding more paint on top once I'm done and once all the paint is out then I will start moving it around I got rid of most of them <laughs> uh, that's the thing about pouring you know if when I paint with acrylic paints too I will you know I'll make a video and I'll show you guys my other paintings that I did before I started pouring um, with this amount of paint you can make a huge painting <laughs> uh, with normal painting but with pouring it is actually really expensive. Okay, so now I'm going to use, anybody who was with me before knows where this came from. <laughs> so we are going to use this on the sides because we'll need to move the paint and it is going to help. Okay, so for this one, I am just going to... Okay, so those of you who weren't with me before, I made two paintings before. Um, and this paint was all the, you know, spill, whatever was spilled on the table. I picked it up and I put it in this cup so I can do this part with it. It's not a pretty color, but don't worry, it's not gonna end up in the painting. This is just for me to move my paint around because on the dry canvas, it is hard for this paint to move that freely. And what happens is once, you, once you're moving the paint, like you were tilting, um, the, uh, the paint actually goes, it doesn't go straight on the canvas, it will go like this. So you keep losing your layers and they will just keep going under. So this will help, even though it's not that pretty. And it might end up showing here and there a little bit, but I don't mind that. Okay. So it is, there we go. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of more white in just right beside it. There we go. Okay. All right, awesome. Okay, let's move this around to see what happens. See all those big cells? So see how I'm losing less less of the color because it's just gliding over that ugly gray <laughs> or brown. Let's go over there. Oh wow, I like how this looks in here. The black and white. Look 
how pretty that looks. So I'm going to get rid of all that. It makes it so much easier for the paint to glide. I love that. Okay, just helping it a little bit to move. There we go. Oh, I love this part too. With all these colors in here and then just that. Love that. I love how all of these cells kind of like have a, an outer line to them. So you can see different colors. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Let me show you a close up of the painting. Look at those cells. They are beautiful. And this painting, which is now dry, it dried exactly like that. Looks beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.